Hi there everybody, Morgan the Financer here, and today I have a quick Halloween project for you. I'm calling these Boo Buckets. It's your favorite candies in a cup and topped with these adorable balloon arrangements. So follow along and I'll show you exactly how to make them. The supplies you'll need for this boo bucket include a 16 ounce cup with a domed lid. This is exactly what you would get your frappe or slurpees in. I'm also using 15 fun size candies, five five inch balloons in two different colors, and then I have this 13 inch bat foil, but any little foil that's 10 to 13 inches will make a great topper for this arrangement. I'll also be adding a tag with a custom Halloween saying on it. These are about business card size, and I'll be attaching those with some curling ribbon. You'll of course need a hand pump to inflate everything, and I'm also using an electric sealer because my foil balloon does not have a self-sealing valve. The first step is to inflate the five inch balloons, but one of these we're gonna set aside for later. So for right now, we're just gonna inflate four of those balloons to four pumps each, and I'm gonna tie each of these into pairs. So once I've got them inflated, I'm gonna take the nozzles of my first two and tie them together. I'm then gonna repeat this with my second set, so I have two matching pairs. I'm then gonna bring these together so that the nozzles touch and then twist the two balloons together and that will lock them together in a quad. This will make up the base of our balloon arrangement. Now I'm gonna inflate my 13 inch foil balloon and like I said, mine does not have a self-sealing valve in the neck here. So I'm gonna have to heat seal it closed. If that's not something you wanna do, make sure when you purchase your balloon, it does have that self-sealing valve. So I'm just gonna inflate this until everything is taut and I'm specifically gonna look at the ears of the bat to make sure that those are nice and inflated. Keeping a firm grasp on the nozzle of my balloon, I'm gonna bring over my heat sealer and I wanna make sure I get a nice tight seal all the way across the nozzle of the balloon. So I'm gonna push the air away from where I'm gonna make my heat seal and hold it for a few seconds. Now every heat sealer is a little different, so do some experimentation ahead of time with how hot you need to set your heat sealer for your balloons. Now I'm gonna come back and do this a second time a little bit above my previous heat seal, and this is just gonna make sure everything is nice and tightly closed up. So this balloon is gonna last several days with these two nice tight seals. I've stuffed my 16 ounce cup full of fun sized candies, and honestly you could put anything in the bottom of this cup. The most important thing is to leave about one inch of space in the top of that cup so we've got enough room for the next step. So once you've got everything into your cup, go ahead and apply that dome lid and make sure it snaps into place. And then we're gonna grab that last five inch balloon and insert it into the domed part of the cup and inflate it until everything is nice and tight. If you put too much air into that balloon, it'll pop the lid off. So just put it back on and try inflating it a little less the next time. What we want is to have a nice tight fit inside that dome lid because this is gonna be the anchor for our balloon arrangement. So the nozzle of the balloon that's popping out of the cup is how we're gonna secure all of our balloons above. The next piece we're gonna add is the quad that we created earlier. And we're gonna line up the, all of the nozzles from that quad to the balloon that's in the cup, and then snugly pull on that nozzle and wrap it up and down throughout the balloons in that quad, and that's gonna lock everything in place. Then we're gonna add the foil on top. So I'm gonna grab the balloon right up against where the shape of that foil begins to start. And I'm gonna wrap the nozzle from that same cup balloon around the nozzle of the foil balloon. And I wanna make sure this is really nice and snug. So I'm gonna wrap that nozzle around the base of the bat balloon and then take that nozzle and wrap it in between some of those five inch balloons and that'll lock everything in place. You may have to do a little bit of arranging. Make sure your bat is you know, standing up straight and is nestled right down into the center of those balloons. Once you're happy with the placement of the bat, we need to hide the nozzle of the bat balloon. So it's kind of just poking up here, and I'm just gonna weave it in and out of some of those latex balloons and tuck it up underneath so you can't see it anymore. The final touch is adding that custom tag to the bottom, and I've just put a cute Halloween poem on it, printed it out on some cardstock, and cut it down to about a business card size. I've punched a hole right in the corner, and I'm gonna put through about 18 inches of curling ribbon through that corner, and then I'm gonna pre-curl my ribbon before I tie it to my arrangement, so I'm not getting my scissors super close to my balloon. And then I'm just gonna tie that in place between the cup and the quad. And with that, this adorable boo bucket is ready to be given away. I hope you're 
inspired by today's project and give this cutie a try. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe below. I'd love to have you join my creative community as I do all kinds of party and event planning videos, decorations, and balloon tutorials just like this one. So until the next time, you can check out some videos over here. And remember, stay creative! Bye!